Hey guys, in this video I want to demonstrate how to use the unit converter feature on your TI-84 Plus CE and also how to retrieve scientific constants on the calculator. This may be a good feature to use while you practice or on exams where graphing calculators are allowed. This is one video in my calculator tutorial series, so be sure to check out other videos in the series. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, we're going to press the button that says Apps here and that takes you to a screen that looks like this afterwards we want to press the up arrow to scroll in reverse because the feature we're interested in is further down the list so scroll up to the tool that says Psi tools and once the cursor is next to that press enter and that takes you to a screen that says press any key to continue so just press any key at all to continue and now we were told to select a tool and the one we're interested in is the unit converter you can either scroll down and press enter or uh, you could just press the number 2 button which is the number next to the feature now we are actually at the screen where we can get cracking with the unit conversions. A quick note, you can easily scroll down uh, using the up and down arrows, but you can't scroll left and right. Uh, so that might be tedious on the test. So what you might want to do is um, the unit converter you're interested in is, uh, for example, if you're interested in mass, uh, the number next to mass is seven. So just press number seven and that takes you to the unit converter in mass. So it's much easier to do that on an exam, especially if you're um, running out of time. So to exit this one, just hit second and mode that has the quit feature. So we're exiting. Let's do a simple uh, conversion. Uh, let's hit six for velocity and let's convert uh, meters per second to miles per hour. First, type in the quantity uh, that you want to uh, convert. So let's say 30.25 meters per second. So type in 30.25. And then make sure that meters per second is selected. Uh, if you were interested in a different one, you can easily scroll left and right. But we're interested in meters per second. So after afterwards, just hit Enter. And then you see that meters per second pops up right next to the quantity. I'll scroll to miles per hour and hit enter and now you see that uh, the answer appears in miles per hour. If you wanted to use this in a further calculation and you wanted to export this to the home screen what you would do is hit the button under X, uh, EXPT which is the zoom button and once you press it you see that nothing happens. What you have to do is hit second quit once again second quit and then hit the button under exit which is the y equals button and once you go back to the home screen you see that your answer appears on the home screen and to get it out of scientific notation just press enter and you get it in the regular number notation answers in the unit converter are by default in scientific notation so uh, well, once you get it on the home screen, you can easily convert to regular numbers. And I also said that in this video, we're going to talk about how to retrieve uh, scientific constants from the calculator. So let's go into the unit converter again. So under constant, hit the Y equals button. And now we see that there are a bunch of constants, Avogadro's constant, uh, Boltzmann constant, and etc. And let's say you wanted to use one of these for a calculation. And to export it to the home screen, hit the button under export, which is zoom, and then second mode, second mode again, and then y equals under exit. And you see that on the home screen, you have the constant. And you can easily use that for a calculation. I hope this video was helpful. You might want to familiarize yourself with the features if you're planning to use it on an exam. 
I didn't go through every single unit conversion because that would take too long and would be overwhelming and confusing. But if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll try my best to answer them. If you haven't already subscribed, share the video with anyone who might find it useful. And until next time, take care guys.